Look, people would say you've probably been at the forefront. Well, I say you're at the forefront of campaigning. How do you see the difference in society from when you started, say, 30 years ago? Because it was the first time we saw this, you gathered all your mates, you gathered people who weren't your mates, you got everybody involved, whether they liked it or not, mm. to today. You know, how do you see... You know, that was the first, and now, you know, you talk to you about celebrities getting involved and using them, and it's fantastic. But how do you see the change in society over that 30 years? I don't think there has been much of a change in society. I think that you, you could still trigger the same response one way or the other. Um, what I didn't expect was Live Aid to resonate down the years. And as I said at the time when people said, um, will you do another one? I said, no, it's, it's more powerful in memory than it is in reality. So you've got lots of different memories. Um, you either have my generation or the one below us, um, of this wonderful day, um, this romantic sort of idea. And um, then you have the rock and roll people who go on about, you know, the concert. Then you have the TV people who, who, who think it was like this the giant... Broadcast. Yeah, the broadcast was all satellites. And all those things are true, but not to me. I mean, um, to me, it was I was on this organisational continuum, and I was just panicking that... Um, it wouldn't work that, um, and I know this sounds funny that there were bands who wouldn't show up because yeah. they had no contracts or that and it would be a massive failure so you know where the romance struck me was when I walked out on stage with uh, and I was simply a pop singer with you know uh, the guys in the band and the enormity of it struck me then but that was the only time um, you know thinking that uh, there's somebody in Vladivostok, Tierra del Fuego, you know, Cananara, watching this, you know, yeah. or whatever. And uh, that was odd, but um, and, and then, then you're on this, you know, gathering up the cash and being able to allocate it. But really what struck me most forcefully in the following week was the potential of the political lobby that had been raised that day. And so for the next 30 years... I've been cashing in that that um, that lobby uh, to the, the the end point for me was 2005 really where the politics that we've been arguing about finally came to the fore at the Glen Eagles um, G8 and and so um, that's where that long um, road sort of came to a head but I didn't expect it don't you see like you know I thought it'd be a record just the track, and we get a hundred thousand pounds up at the end, <laughs> and then it became a phenomenon. So you're obliged to deal with that. And Live Aid became a phenomenon. Um, people don't really remember Live Aid, which is weird because I think we had over three billion people in that. <coughs> but because it was empirical, mm -hmm. it was to do with pushing politics rather than asking people to help. So. Uh, <coughs> I don't think that society has altered much. The means by which society negotiates itself has changed.